loves, how you doing? Hope you guys are doing wonderful. If you're new to my channel, my name is Michelle and today I'm just doing a quick get ready with me. I'm gonna be doing very light makeup and I'm using all the makeup from one brand and that brand is called Glossier. Glossier is a brand that really specializes on no makeup makeup. So for those of you guys who don't wear a lot of makeup, who don't like makeup, who only want a little bit to cover up, this is definitely a brand that you should look into. I've done lots of reviews on different items in the brand and I thought, you know what, let me just do a video using all of the products from Glossier that I own and show you what it looks like and give you kind of like little mini reviews on the items. For those items that I've done a full blown review for, I will put the links all below and you can watch each individual item for each specific thing. So I'm starting with a clean, fresh face. I just washed my face and all I did was tone with my toner. So I'm gonna start by using the Super Bounce. Glossy has a whole line of different serums for your face. And for those of you guys who don't use face serums, they're really good for clearing up like dark spots, giving your face more luminosity, helping with blemishes. They have different purposes for different ones. And the one I have is called Super Bounce. And this one is hyaluronic acid, which is so good for your face. And it also has vitamin B5. It comes with a little dropper at the top, but I found that the dropper doesn't really work that well. So I usually end up opening it up and pouring just a little bit onto my fingertips. So I'm just gonna start by spritzing my face because you guys, it's so hot out here in LA. It's like 101 degrees and I'm not exaggerating. It's so hot. So I'm just gonna spritz my face with water. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit of the Super Bounce into my hand. It's almost done actually, there's barely anything in it. It's not sticky or anything, it's not greasy at all. It absorbs right into your face, but I usually always have my face wet. And I just put a little bit onto my fingertips and I rub it into my face. I also put a little bit onto my neck and don't forget your chin, girl. Don't forget your chin. Okay, so this is my face after putting it on. There's literally no grease. It leaves no residue whatsoever. It just melts right into the skin. I find for my face, it just helps it to look a lot more plump. And I feel like it does help it to look a little bit more young looking. I need to tie my hair back. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the Priming Moisturizer. It comes in this little tube right here. It's a very lightweight moisturizer for your face. I use it the most when I'm about to go to the gym because when I come home, I take off my makeup and I don't like my face to ever have nothing on it. But in the gym, you don't want anything that's gonna have too much on your face because that mixed with the sweat causes breakouts for me. So this is what I use. I use their Priming Moisturizer and I just take a little bit onto my fingertips. I do not overdo it with this at all. Just kind of rub it into my face. And a little bit on my neck. And you can definitely see the luminosity that just shows up right away. It's not greasy at all though. I have very oily skin, so I have to be very careful. But this does melt into the skin and it doesn't shine up on you at all. So the next thing I'm gonna use is their sunscreen from Glossier. It's called Invisible Shield. And it's a daily sunscreen. I never used to wear sunscreen. I always thought that I didn't need to because I was dark, but that's not true. And I noticed that for my face, I do have a lot of moles on my face and I realized that the lack of using sunscreen on my face promoted more moles, especially in the car when I'm driving because the sun is going directly onto my face. My windows are not tinted and it definitely does show up. So now for me, it's really important to have sunscreen in my regimen. And this sunscreen has an SPF of 35. It's very, very, very lightweight. It does not cause any problems. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the sunscreen onto my fingertips, just two pumps usually is enough for the whole face. Rub it into my fingertips. It dries clear, which is awesome. And it doesn't have any kind of like annoying, weird smell at all. It doesn't smell like typical sunscreen. I don't like the way sunscreen smells, but it does not smell like your typical sunscreen. It really doesn't even have a smell. All right, so now it is time to put on some foundation. The foundation is very light and it's called a skin tint. I'm in between colors, so I have both deep and I have rich. In the summertime, I'm definitely rich, but come wintertime, my skin sometimes does lighten up and my face 
is the lightest part of my body, my face and my chest. So it's really easy for me to look uneven. I mix it though, so that's what we're gonna do. I have a full review on this product, so I will link that below. It's very runny, so be careful with this stuff, guys. Very runny. See that? This is my hands down favorite lightweight foundation. I have my full coverage foundation that I wear when I'm going out like somewhere glam. And this is like the perfect everyday one though. I love their skin tint. And this is a lighter color. See that? You can use your fingers too if you want, but I'm gonna use a brush today. I just mix it in together with my brush and that gives me kind of like my skin tone. I need to wash this brush, this is not cool. You see how it goes on, just like your skin. Oh my goodness, I love this stuff. Okay, we have to stop because I completely forgot that I have a pimple on my face. I get hormonal breakouts, so I have to conceal this. So I'm going to be using Glossier's Concealer in Rich. I have both Rich and Deep. They're the same colors as the foundation, so they have one in the same colors for the concealer. So I'm gonna conceal this with the darker one, Rich. This is my favorite concealer for wigs, by the way. Whenever I'm wearing like a lace front wig, and I want to do the parting and I want to make the parting look just like my skin, this is the concealer that I use because for some reason the concealer has this like glossy luminosity to it and it looks like skin. And that way the part looks like my skin, I love it. So I'm just gonna take a little bit with my finger like this and I'm just gonna dab it onto my pimple. All right, so now let's talk brows. Glossy has a product called Boy Brow and it's one of like the coolest things. If you're not into doing your eyebrows, which I am not, doing my eyebrows is probably the most annoying thing when I'm doing my makeup. It takes so much precision and time and I just like to kind of go in the mornings. So this product is really good for people like me. I have two, I have the black and the brown and there is definitely a difference. I usually like my brows to be dark brown. I don't ever use black eyebrow pencils, but browns are usually too light, so I usually like dark browns, but they don't have a dark brown. But I am gonna show you what the brown looks like, and hopefully when I go over it with the black, it won't look crazy. You take it out, and this is the applicator. The applicator is very tiny, and so all you do is you just take it and you just follow your natural brow, and you brush it, and all it's doing is it's giving you more volume, and it's giving you a little bit of color on the eyebrow. Light brown is quite hard to see, but it does fill in, it does a trick if you don't mind it being a little bit light. Can you tell the difference between this brow and this brow? It's a little bit more fuller, more defined. There you go. But you can definitely tell the difference between this eyebrow and that eyebrow as far as volume. It does give it so much volume. I love this product. Now let me do the black to show you what the black looks like. Like I said, the black is too dark for me. The brown is too light. But if I had to choose, I guess brown would be better. Alright, so this is the black side and this is the brown side. I guess I could add a little bit more to give it more color, but I don't want my eyebrows to look too dark. Ooh, that's a lot. 
For those of you guys who have thick eyebrows, you are going to love this. So awesome. You see how thick that is? It's very black. And this is the brown. Okay, so that's what boy brow does. I'm gonna just take a little bit off because it's too much. Okay, so I'm gonna just put on a little bit of eyeliner like I normally would. And a tiny bit of mascara. I'm not gonna put any liner on my top lid because I'm not going anywhere. I don't need to look all extra Be done. All right, and you really could just leave the house looking just like this if you wanted to. Put on a little bit of Vaseline, girl. This is all you really need, okay? But I wanna show you all the products, so let's keep on going. Now, if I wanted to do a little under eye highlight, say I wanna step it up a notch, I would use my deep concealer underneath my eyes just to brighten it up a little bit. Just so you know, the concealers are very pigmented and they're kind of juicy. They're very juicy, so if you have very oily skin, this is probably not the concealer that I would want to use under my eyes, just to be honest. But if your skin is on the drier side, or even normal, then you're gonna fall in love with these concealers. So you can see the difference now, right? And this is what it looks like. Still very natural. It's never gonna look overdone. I would definitely encourage you to set this. Please set this because it may move on your face. So you can use any powder or you can use like a Ben Nye banana powder or whatever powder to kind of just set the concealer. So I'm gonna use my Ben Nye powder in Topaz. You can also do this with a beauty blender if you want. That would work well too. is definitely coming together now blush I'm not a big blush girl I'm gonna tell you right now I used to really overdo it with my blush and now I rarely ever wear blush because it just does it just is too much but I really like this blush that they have because it's a liquid blush and it, you can really control how much you put on your face and I feel like it just melts into your skin more I have it in haze it's a dark pink color so I'm just gonna take a little bit and it comes out quick it comes out quick you gotta watch it so I'm gonna put a little bit like just ugh, just this much for both cheeks and I'm gonna use my beauty blender that's it I'm just gonna dab it in like this I don't like a lot of blush, you guys, so I'm just adding a little bit of color to my face. You can definitely build on this thing if you want to and make it more. Okay. That's all I want. Give me a flush of color and that's enough. Now I'm gonna go in with Haloscope. I love this stuff. I love it. It is a highlighter, but it's the most natural highlighter ever. It melts into your skin. I have it in Topaz, but they have, I think two other colors. Even with the blush, they have three other colors for the blush. If you want like an orange or if you want more of like a peach, they have other colors with the blush. It rolls up. I have a whole review on this and I also have a whole review just on the other blushes that you can check out. I only wanna put this on my nose today. So I'm just gonna put it down the middle of my nose. This and right here. Maybe I'll put some right here too. And then I'll put some around my lip area cause that's like cool now I guess. And I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and just lightly tap it. natural but there is a tiny bit of glow where the sun just boom hits it it's gorgeous 
And if you want, you can set your highlight too if you feel like you're gonna get greasy. Um, I'm probably gonna do it just as a precaution. Just be careful because sometimes when you set it, it takes away that shine. Sometimes that does happen and that's kind of like defeats the purpose. And now I'm just gonna add something to my lips. I don't have any of their lipsticks. I did purchase the Generation G, one of their lipsticks, but it was very light and I could barely see it on my face. So I'm just gonna use a lip gloss today. They have a clear lip gloss if you wanna go with the clear look. So I'm gonna use my MAC lip gloss and I'm gonna top it with the Glossier clear gloss just to make it shine even more. This lip gloss is so juicy and it's not sticky, I love it. Okay, so my face is pretty much almost done. All I'm going to do now is set it with the translucent powder. I do this because I have oily skin and I don't want my face to look shiny, but for those of you guys who don't have oily skin, you may not need to set it. I always set any foundation I put onto my face. So I'm using my Kat Von D setting powder. All right, love, so this is my full face using Glossier, and like I said, it's great no makeup makeup. So for those of you guys who don't like to wear a lot of makeup, it definitely still looks very natural on my face. And if you are standing in front of me in person, it looks just like skin because the products really just melt into your face. I am a rep for Glossier, so you can use my code below if you want a percentage off of your purchase. I've been using their products for years, and I bought so much of it that they asked me if I wanted to join their rep program. So I'm happy that I can share it with you guys too because I think that this brand is very underrated. They do have a new product out called Wowder, which is an all over face powder that I could have used at the very end to set my face. I just don't have it yet. But if you would like me to review that one, then let me know and I will do another video showing you guys how that product works. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. If you don't have any questions, Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I thank you for your support. Big kisses to you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love, and light.